Hi everyone, so today I've got another pneumatic unboxing for you. This is the all new Henry Cordless. I got this today from Argos, it was pretty expensive, it was £299. So it's probably the most expensive pneumatic cleaner I've ever bought. Um, but I believe the Henry Cordless is based on the Compact Henry, the 160 model. But I'm going to unbox this for you and we'll have a good look at it inside and see what we get with it. So I'll rearrange the camera and we'll have a look inside the box. So just before I open Henry Cordless I thought I would show you a tour around the box. So as you can see the box shows that it does include two 36 volt batteries which is really good. Now most manufacturers of cordless vacuum cleaners only include one battery with their machines. So for pneumatic to give you two batteries that's really generous. And to be honest you'd expect that for £300 wouldn't you? So as you can see at the bottom here it shows the charging dock and the battery. And it's model HVB160 cordless. And of course it says it's new because the Henry Cardless is one of the latest in the Pneumatic Henry series. I think they came out in 2016 but they weren't available until March of this year which is 2017. So on this side of the box as you can see it shows the diagrams of the different features. So it's a two speed machine as you can see so it has the low and the high speed. And it has the battery status indicator. So these will light up or go out according to how full or drained the battery is. And the batteries are lithium iron batteries so they will just cut out when the battery runs down low enough that it doesn't provide enough power for use. So they won't just run down and down and down until it conks out basically like an old dust buster would. They'll literally just stop working and then you'll have to recharge. So that's the benefits of lithium iron batteries so that's good. So it has the parking bracket and the tool storage, um, which is a relatively new feature. For some reason the Henry Cordless comes with the older type double pedal floor tool. I'm not sure why that is, but um, how good it will be with this machine we'll have to see when I test it. Um, I'm hoping it has a metal base plate, it probably will. And of course it shows the um, battery pack and the charging dock again there. And you just press that button to release the battery and it, the battery sits just where the card rewind would on the regular carded Henry. On this side again it's just a picture of Henry just like it was on the other side. And on this side is the specifications. So it shows you the tools you get with the machine. It is covered up by this um, hazardous battery contained in this box sticker um, but never mind. And it's model HVB160-12 made in the, where is it, there it is, fifth week of 2017, so it wasn't made that long ago, and of course it's made in Britain. So that's the box, and on top, if you can just see that there, it's got the pneumatic logo, which will be upside down, but never mind, and it says Henry Cordless. So, without further ado, let's get on to unboxing the machine. Okay, so I've repositioned the camera so you can have a better view of what's inside the box. So let's get on to opening Henry Cordless and see what's inside. So first thing we have is the pack of tools. So it's really good that you get a full set of tools with this machine. Um, most cordless machines you just get a very basic tool kit, um, some tiny little nozzles and such. But with of course Henry Cordless we get a full set of tools like you would with the standard Henry. So you have your dusting brush, the upholstery tool with the slide on brush, the adapter tool there so you can use the tool straight on the end of the hose and the crevice tool. So here's the floor tool and yes as I suspected it does have a metal base plate very nice and shiny as you can see it has two lint pickers for picking up threads and hairs and things and if you press down on one of the pedals it lowers the bristles for cleaning of hard floors. So that's the floor tool. 
and of course it has the built-in parking bracket so you can park the wand and floor tool neatly at the back of the machine. So it's a little bit narrower than the standard original type of floor tool um, that Henry's would have used a few years ago but um, that's probably due to the lower suction being a cordless machine but that's a nice nozzle anyway. So that's the floor tool. Here we have the manual as you can see and there is some lettering or writing I should say in here um, with the instructions but it is mainly pictures very typical of pneumatic manuals and I'm not sure how long of a warranty you get with the batteries it looks like the standard two years um, so the batteries will last um, each battery will last 30 minutes on low power and 20 minutes on high power if you can see that so that's pretty good really considering you get two batteries as well so you should be cleaning for quite a while so that's the manual so next thing out is the hose the standard 2.4 meter hose with the of course tapered hand grip and the screw end that goes into the cleaner and of course it's the conical hose the new type hose because as you can see the hose end that you put onto the machine is wider than the attachment end of the hose. So that's the hose anyway, you get the standard whoops, standard 2.4 meter hose. So next out is well let's remove this first. some packaging material. Next out is the two extension ones, the stainless steel ones. And here's the curved handle part. There's no suction control on this, the, the valve which is the uh, suction relief. Because of course it's a cordless machine, it won't be as powerful as a mains powered Henry so they didn't give you that because you don't need to reduce the suction and if you did you have the option on the machine to reduce the suction between high and low power. So that's the curved handle. We have some bags. You get three bags with the um, with the Henry Cordless and you'll have one fitted. So these are the HEPA flow bags. As you can see they are huge they're about £5 for 10 so there's no excuse to not use bags at all or use generic bags so these are the HEPA bags that Pneumatic offer so they are very cheap so let's see I think next is the cleaner so we'll have a look at that in a moment and at the bottom of the box it looks like the batteries more packaging there. As you can see they're in the bottom of the box there. So, oh they're quite heavy. So those are the batteries that clip in to the top of Henry. There's one and there's the other one. And where are they made? Let's have a look. I'm not sure if they're made in, they might be made by a pneumatic. So it does say their address on it, so it probably they are made by pneumatic, the batteries. And there's the charger. And they'll just clip onto here. They marry up with the male and female ends with the connections. And I'm guessing, it, yeah, it just sits on top. It doesn't click in. It literally just plonks on like that. Of course, you have the mains cord with the standard UK plug. So that's the, uh, the batteries and the charger. So that's everything in the box, so I'll move that out the way. So here's the uh, Henry Cardless. It's very, very small. 
again it's based on the 160 compact Henry so it is very very small it's very cute actually so uh, we'll just take off the top here you can see it's a bit of a mark on it there a bit of a blemish I think that will come off with a bit of furniture polish but the handle does lock as you can see like that so that's cool that's where the battery sits so literally it will just click into place you sit it underneath first with the lip at the back again you marry up the connections like that it'll only go in one way and it clicks in to release it you press the red button and it pops out I'm not sure whether these are slightly pre-charged or not I'll soon find out that's the motor top it looks like it has a smaller motor in it and might not be the standard one and on the back here you can see the two position switch for low speed off in the centre and the higher speed and there's the battery status indicator take a look at the serial number you can peruse at that I won't bore you by reading it out, but you'll be able to pause there so you can have a look at it. So that's the motor top. Here's the filter. Oh, that not that cute? Look how small that is. So that's the filter, standard Tritex filter. And of course in here we have fitted the HEPA flow bags. Now I think these are the standard versions. They look slightly smaller than those, I might be wrong. I'm not sure. Those are the standard HEPA flows that come spare with it. Just the um, the one inside looks smaller. No, it is. No, it's the same. It does have the same same model number on it. Here, the bag type. Anyway, that's the uh, that's the bucket, and the bags just push on, as you can see, just like they would on the standard Henry. Let's pop that back together. And of course with this new design, with the parking bracket built in, this cutout here which lines up with that design only allows you to put the motor top on one way. So, you know, it won't sit on any other way. So Henry's name will always face in line with his eyes. So that's cool. So as you can see, here's the tool storage system. You can fit two tools on there, or you can stack them up and fit all four on. And there's the parking bracket there for the the uh, floor tool. So it just sits on like that, as you can see. So, I think that's a general look at the machine. And as you can see, it has the clip-on face as well. Got two rubber-coated rear wheels and two... Um, casters. Not sure if they're rubber coated or not, they feel like they've got some sort of coating on them. But Anyway, there we are. So I'll put all the bits out so we can see what we get with the machine in a better view. And we'll have a bit of a go of him and see how well the suction is. So I'll be back in just a second. So as you can see, this is everything you get with Henry Cordless. You get three spare HEPA flow dust bags, and there's one fitted in the machine already. You get two stainless steel extension wands, and the stainless steel curved wand. Now there's no suction control on the end of this curved wand, because the machine is two speed, so there's no need for that suction control valve to reduce the suction. You get two lithium ion batteries, which give you a total running time of 40 to 60 minutes. Now depending on which speed setting you have it on, either low or high, or if you vary between low and high during using these batteries will depend on how long the batteries will last for until they die. Um, so, you know, it's still a good running time between two batteries, so that's very good. You get the battery charger, which plugs into the mains. As you can see, it has the regular three-pin UK plug on it. Um, I believe they take three and a half hours to charge. Don't quote me on that, but I think I read that somewhere. You get the standard carpet and floor nozzle with the parking bracket on the back. It is a metal base plate, as you can see, and it has the lint pickers. 
and the brushes which protrude for cleaning hard floors. Now this is the older type pneumatic floor tool, it's a little bit narrower than the original one. Um, the standard Henry and Hetty come with a different floor tool now, it's like a, a Miele type floor tool. This is more like an original pneumatic floor tool, so this is what you get with Henry Cordless anyway. Um, I'm not sure whether that alters the performance of the machine or not, but we'll soon find out. I did want to show you the machine running before I ended this video, but the batteries need charging. I did check both of them and they're completely dead, um, so I won't be able to turn this on in this video, but you will expect to see another demo video of this machine. So you get the full tool kit, you get the dusting brush, the upholstery tool with the slide-on brush, the crevice tool and the adapter tool, you get the 2.4 metre conical hose, and of course, last but not least, the manual. Of course, being a pneumatic manual, it's mainly pictures, but there is some text in there as well. Um, and it has the guarantee, or warranty I should say, at the back. But that's that anyway. So that's everything you receive with Henry Cordless. Okay, so that pretty much sums up the unboxing on the Henry Cordless. As you can see, I've got it fully assembled. And I'm sorry I won't be able to show you the machine in action in this video, but Pneumatic gave me two fully drained batteries, so what can you do? I mean, it doesn't matter if I was just a consumer, but for video purposes it's a bit annoying, but never mind. Um, as you can see, I've got one of the batteries on charge, and as you can see, it lights up red. The little red light on there shows that it's charging. When it's fully charged, it will illuminate green. I just put the other battery in the top of the machine to make it look a bit nicer for the ending of this video. So expect to see a full demonstration on this machine. Um, when I've got the batteries fully charged, I'll put some dirt down and we can see how well Henry Cordless performs. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon.